Welcome to Two Balls and a Mic, episode 68. We are here after San Diego Loyal go 0-3. They lost Tacoma. We're going to go ahead and talk about it. We're not happy about it. Nope. We're going to get into it a little bit. In La Liga, you have the race between the championship staying inside of Madrid's. Uh, no longer Barcelona involved in who is going to win that. In the Premier League, the championship has been decided already with Manchester City, but yeah. there was still some action. Alisson saves Liverpool with the first goal in uh, by a goalkeeper in a competitive match in yes, history. Indeed, yes, indeed. Uh, Chelsea might be choking. Harry Kane decides that he's going to go ahead and leave FA Cup. Also, Chelsea lost to uh, Lesser City, it's okay. We got bigger fish to fry, guys. Don't worry about it. Uh, we're also gonna go ahead and maybe touch upon a little bit of NBA. They're gonna go ahead and what? Yeah, playoffs. Down. I mean, they don't have right? Might as well. <laughs> uh, NFL schedule has been released. Some of the most anticipated games. What do we expect from my Eagles and your Rams going into the season? But definitely, 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 definitely fun times, fun times, fun times, fun times. Oh man, um, La Liga race is fucking. Close as fuck, bro. So it's been close. Um, it's been close, but Atletico had a gap, and then they kind of choked it a little bit. Mm -hmm. They almost choked this game, bro. So I was watching it. They were uh, down one nothing, and literally in like the last twelve minutes, they managed to make a comeback. Suarez with the winning tap in, and the memes had to start because right at the same time when he scored. Uh huh. Uh, Braith Braithway from Barca Braithway yeah, yeah. missed a tap in himself like in the small box. Hey man, the like, literal the literal replacement that Suarez. This like, guy told Suarez that he was oh no. too old to compete, mm -hmm. and okay. that he was not going to compete at the high level anymore. He scored twenty league goals this season. See you at Like like Suarez went on a tear. Like Barca completely fucked up this season, and any any fan that thinks that. They're chilling with Barca. Oh, you're hallucinating. That's the thing too. Like, it's it's weird because like it was such a weird season for them because they weren't out of the race. They just you but know that's how fucked up the Liga is. Straight up, La Liga. I mean, yeah, Stock just shit. in general. But like Barcelona isn't the same. Like, no, it's not. It's clearly it's, not. It's, it's crazy. Like, is is Aguero gonna come in and save this? Like, is that really what you want? Like, like it's is the thing. Like, thirty year old Aguero really like, your they savior? Signed, uh, Pjanic, like not too long ago, like. That was, that was a bad what, deal. Like, that was what a deal what they are lost. we doing here? Like, Griezmann was the last, like, young ish. Because they gave up Arthur. Arthur was a young Brazilian promising midfielder. I like Arthur in FIFA, too. Um, yeah, we saw him on, on our tournaments. He was fucking killing it. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know what Barca's thinking, man. I don't know how they're going to how they're gonna fix this. I I think they want Haaland as well, but if they're going to get a widow, what's the point of getting Haaland? Uh, he was going to bench a widow, half a super team. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Where is Griezmann going to go? Coutinho's already going to end up leaving to Everton. I'm amazed. I, I, for, I, you know, I forget about Coutinho just because they've mismanaged him so badly. Yeah, it's, I mean, he killed it at Bayern. Like, I'm not going to lie. It was a great sub. Something started. But I don't know what Barca's going to do, man. I mean, if they're doing bad right now, imagine when uh, Messi ends up retiring or leaving. That, which is soon, I don't which think is approaching. Ready. I do not think they are prepared. Oh, I think, I think I'm telling <coughs> you, dark times are coming for Barcelona. People I keep are saying not prepared this for over that. and over. And it's okay. It's okay. And Chavis now they're out of in. La Liga race. They lost against Celta Vigo. They were up one nothing. So they empataron. And then, oh man, that last goal was ridiculous. Did you see it? Like, the, it was like a cross that it turned into a shot. The last goal for Celta Vigo against Barca. The cross hit the post. They're saying couldn't get it. Uh, and Defensa and then this guy from Barca, like, just uh, from Celta Vigo, just tapped it in, bro. Like, it was ridiculous um, from Barcelona's defense. I mean, they have to change everything. Esta? They need esta, esta? The last one. Yeah, that one. Oh, boy. So, what you're telling me is. All right. Finish. And a couple Kane? of minutes later, Where, yeah, well, laugh well, well, Solari's deep cross. Oh, boy. Pesh, oh, off man. The post. oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Like, when do you ever see Barca <laughs> do that? That's all on. Uh, I'm telling you, man. Barca's tagging me. No mames. Oh, of course, yeah, absolutely. But I mean, dude, Barca's defense is relying on an American kid. Así te lo pongo. A ese punto llegaron. Un pinche chamaco americano. Mocoso should be playing or USL, doing. USL. Oh, oh, oh shit. shit! Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> get out! Of, I mean, if you get out of USL, that tells us something, right? I saw Davis. Davis. So, I saw, 
That's a Rubio Rubin. <clears throat> ah. oh. oh, shit. Bray, maybe, maybe, breaking, getting out of San Diego. maybe getting out of San Diego is the key. Rubin, you're welcome, man. Uh, Irving, I think, scored a brace, too. I think uh, Beverly Macanguila is not doing too bad with the switchbacks. That's everybody who's left. Um, Corey Hairstyle's killing it, though. Ah, we'll talk to we'll, we'll talk about definitely get get to that. We're a little, we're a little salty. Anyways, uh, I mean, uh, Real Madrid won their game as well, one nothing. Mm-hmm, goal mm-hmm, to Nacho mm-hmm. Fernandez, pretty pretty basic goal that just passed to the side. He kind of tapped it in. Just uh, it. But the race is in. It's two points. Uh, for a, for a couple minutes, for a good 20, 30 minutes, Madrid was ahead. With 81 points because Atletico mm-hmm. was losing, mm-hmm. and they managed to make that comeback, man. That was huge from Atletico. I think now they play Real Valladolid, uh, and then if you go down on the table. You said Valladolid, weird. And it, yeah, I don't know. Is that how you said Vall- Valladolid? Oh, it's Valladolid? Did you put like an accent, I think, like Valladolid. Valladolid. Is there, there's no accent, though. Is there? Valladolid. Go down. Valladolid. Yeah, you're right. No. Yeah, you're right. Ah, whatever. Oh, this is why we have. Pronunciation of Valladolid, right? Valladolid. Oh, that's, that's Valladolid. There you go. Valladolid. There uh, you we've go. We've saying it wrong. Can you say it? Okay. How to pronounce it? Right? Six. Six. He was there. It doesn't right. matter. It doesn't matter, bro. What the fuck? I shall leave. <laughs> anyway, so this is legit, like, everything is turning. Any, everything Go is. Go to the standings uh, real quick. Monday? So standings. Atletico plays Real Valladolid uh, next week, which by at least in 18th place. Go uh-huh. down. Because then you can look at the relegation race. Oh it's boy. pretty close as well. Oh, boy. 30. The last place to 17 is three points. That's Damn. scary, dude. That's crazy. I mean, West guys like has to win. Elche has to win. Valladolid is pretty much screwed against Atletico. Ibar, pues. All right. And then, I mean, when you compare relegation tables you know, to this something, one. Something crazy, too. This is how close. Yeah. Like, I mean, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Like, oh, this is how fucked up La Liga is. But, like, yeah, this is this is this is competition. Like, this is what you asked for, right? This is what you mm-hmm. want. And yeah. then you're over here saying, like, oh, La Liga, Vale Madre, and this is how it's fucked up. It is. But, like, look, Villarreal has uh, 58 points, and they can jump into a Europe into Europe with, you know, Sociedad at 59 points. Like, yeah, top to then, bottom. Yeah, but then you're from fifth place. You, I think you might be closer to uh, 18th place. Then you are to second. One thousand percent. One thousand percent. I stand that's, that's big, the big four. That's the gap, dude. That's the difference. I mean, and that's good for 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 these teams at least because top four and top four. At is, least you is, can include Sevilla because they've been staying yeah. up there, dude, and straight up. Um, but that, that's why I keep saying La Liga is not as like as elite as some people claim to be. The but, shine wore off of it. Yeah, but who do you think is going to take it? You think it's going to be Atletico? You think Madrid is going to close it? I think Atletico is going to close it. I want Atletico too. Um, if somehow if Madrid somehow oh, pulls this not gonna shit be, off, they're gonna we're not going to hear the end of it because I'm I'm oh telling you God, I'm not a fan of league. Madrid fans, uh, especially about the Wild Wings, right? I don't know. <laughs> yes, I don't know how. Uh, I just don't know how. Both. Barcelona and Mad- and Madrid could let this happen and still have a chance to win something. Barcelona pretty much, yeah, so, yeah but like yeah. the fact that they still have a chance to win something and be able to redeem their season, just I don't want that. So yeah. I want Atletico to win it. I want uh, the story of of Suarez and and everything to be like a, re- a great redemption. I mean, I don't know. I, I want Barcelona to feel what Manchester United have felt over the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. Which is the rebuilding phase that so we're not working, not working, not working. Year after year, I want Barcelona to end up with Mourinho. <laughs> Have to deal with that. Oh shit. damn! Imagine. How's that chair doing? It's fine. I love it. No, I mean honestly, like yeah, it's, it's, it's not, not the bad. same. It's not, not bad. uncomfortable. Not uncomfortable. The 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 chair the other chair just malfunctioned, so we were replacing. The other chair yeah, with this chair. I'm gonna fix it. Just buy another chair, dude. Yeah, see, no, kind of. I mean, 
Algo leve. I mean. Algo leve. Boy, have you seen the studio? I might just bring my brother's chair. Oh, there you go. Shh. We have his ring light. Kind no, of. I bought it off oh, him. Oh, there you go. There you 100 go. bucks for it. Better than offer of your brother, straight up. Oh, yeah. He gives you oh, the yeah. wildest, the wildest deals. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Anyways, yeah, la, la, la premier, la, la premier. Uh, again, we're, we'll talk it. loyal, but we'll, 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 we need to, you know, just savor this, you know, bad but news too, because yeah. Chelsea's not doing good in, in the Premier League Wait, either. Wait, so, okay, <laughs> is it a catastrophe? Is it a failed season? No, relax. No, is it's it a failed right. season? No. If you guys don't qualify for Champions League and lose the Champions League final and and lost the FA Cup, we're talking we're we're talking the worst case scenario right now, boy. Is it a failed season? Yes or no? Is it a failed season? Yes or no? Answer the fucking question. I don't think so. I don't think so. What? No, especially with the giant teams in, involved. If, if you don't qualify for Champions League, the fact that we League, made it into Champions League so much, yeah, but you didn't win it, you have to qualify for Champions League. We lost our coach halfway through the season. I mean, you, you put it in the context of any other, any other situation. You're, you're telling me if your team loses the Champions League final and we're has no European things, competition we're next about year, things aren't going to happen. That's not a bad season. We're talking about things that are not going to happen. So I don't even know why they're going to win the Champions League final. They're going to be in Champions League next year. Yes, that's, play Leicester tomorrow. Okay, we'll lose again to Leicester. Just that's fine. You can't afford to lose a game. Uh, that's fine. We'll win Champions League. That's how confident I am with Champions League. We're going to win the Champions League. Oh, my goodness. Vamos a ganar. Man City. Mm, no. Nah. No. <laughs> okay. That's fine. We we were. Bato. If you're, if let you're me, Tucha, are you starting Pulisic uh, on the final? I know we're talking. You know, we said you know, Premier League, but this turned into. No, are you starting Pulisic in the uh, final? No. Wow. Hey, it's been working, right? Or whatever, whatever worked last time. Just, just. I mean, Tucho, Tucho knows best. Oh um, shit, he's a coach. <laughs> mm-hmm. L- listen, listen to 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 this 2012 roster. All right, Manuel Neuer, Diego Contento was whatever. El Timo Shook, all right. Boateng, Philip Lam, Tony Cruz, Bastian Schweinsteiger, Frank Ribery, uh, Mueller, Arjen Robin, Mario Gomez. Versus an old Mario Gomez. Uh, this is 2012, dude. He was old. Mario Gomez. He doesn't play anymore. Mario Gomez. Did you ever press the Mario Gomez button? He was old already. Wait, no, mames. What are you talking about? 2012 was nine years ago. He was 24. What are you talking about? He was, was old already. 24. He's 35 right now. What the fuck? He was always slow as fuck then. Yeah, no, we just say Monstrotre. Mario Gomez. Button. Button. This needs to be. You ready? Here, I'll let you press it. Mario Gomez! Mario Gomez! Mario Gomez. How, how do you know about this? Be honest, how, how how much time have you wasted just pressing that shit back like back to back to back? At least twice today. Um, how do you even know about that? What the fuck? Is wrong <laughs> with you? But like the soccer community in the in like early meme days was wild. Like just fucking wild. Like it was a wild west of of just wasted domains and and memes. It was great. Um, so you were saying about the lineup. Okay, so the lineups in the Champions League final in twenty twelve. O sea, pinche, pinche que pasa, güey. That later, last, next year, went, it up, went into treble or so a couple of years. Versus, o sea, Ashley Cole. All right. David Luis. Okay. Okay. No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. Peter Check, top tier. Okay. Ashley Cole, top tier left back. Okay. David Luis. Manuel was, Neuer. That's when David Luis was scoring bangers. Man, man, uh, Neuer and Peter Check cancel each other out. <coughs> Boateng. Cancel each other out with, with David Luis. Philip Lam, Ashley Cole, the mamas, cancel each other out. Okay. Tony Cruz, Frank Lampard at the end. That's a segue. Jose Bosingua vale verga, güey. Like he was serviceable in the caqueras, but like, yeah. ese güey yeah. vale verga. But he's contento. Um, con, okay, contento there. Okay, sure. Timo Shook was, was serviceable. Same thing with Gary Cahill. 
Gary Cahill was a mini Terry. And and had it been Terry, it would have been different. John Obi Michael. John Obi Michael at this point in his career is again when when you put you in to just lock down the game and do do nothing. This guy's starting. This guy was starting, and this is before he ended up being really good as a cam for the Nigerian national team. He was still basic ass John Obi Michael. Ryan Bertrand. Esemoro. He left and went somewhere to about the championship. I'm talking about Juan Mata. Mata. Okay, Juan Mata, player of the year that year, or mm-hmm. the year before that, something like that. Solomon Kalu, serviceable. Um, and then Didier Drogba. Didier Drogba. At, at crack. He, Didier Dr- crack, but like, you know, ended up playing at Phoenix Rising like two years later, right? So like, you know. Well, no, What's the fuck is the point with this? My point is that Chelsea are in the same situation as they are this time. We don't have, we don't have as strong of a roster as what? We're the underdogs here. Don't tell me we're not the underdogs. You you are, but you still okay. have a strong roster. But we are the definite like underdogs. Not by a lot. Champions League. Since the semifinals, odds. I told you. I can see any of the four teams winning the Champions League. I mean, oh, Poco, anybody can make it. Yeah, bro, I could say that when No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I no. <coughs> Last year I was like, okay, Leipzig is not going to win it. Atalanta's not going to win it. You know how to read these, right? Yeah. All right. Was that a good one? Or would you like me to go anyway? Let me see. Okay, so we have Man City and City's Chelsea. City's home, plus 105. That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right. Anyway. We have oh, the wait, wait. Go back, go back, go back. Uh, we're the underdog, right? Yeah. Okay, City's favorite, yeah. <coughs> By a little bit. By a little bit. I mean, yeah, like. It's minus 188, plus 170. That's. Yeah, it's not. It's by a little bit, dude. Straight up. I mean, we're the underdogs. I mean, okay, you guys already beat City. We are the underdogs. We've beat beat City, <clears throat> but again, it might be a situation mm-hmm. where they're just they they have they also have bigger fish to fry. They're just not chilling. They already won the Premier League. Yes, yeah. Yeah, okay. like they had it on lock, right? Focus on the Champions League. Same thing we're doing. So you I mean, can't we afford to just focus on Champions League, though. <clears throat> oh, guess what? When Chelsea ends up winning Champions League, it's it's gonna it's gonna be great. Guess what? When you guys don't qualify for Champions League and lose it, I'm gonna laugh at you. When you guys lose Europa, I'm gonna laugh at you. Contra Villarreal. Anyways, I mean, Allison saved uh, Liverpool. Yeah, so and Allison Liverpool's Beckerman. Still, Liverpool's still chasing a Champions League spot. They're two points or one point behind Chelsea. Last minute corner kick for Liverpool. And this happened. Curled him right footed Allison. <laughs> so everyone's like, fucking Allison <laughs> this. <laughs> we all know Allison was not a goalkeeper growing up. Yeah, he no. Played, he played he was an outfield player. He knows how to hit her, guys. Yeah, no, like this is this is a pro level maneuver in the air, if we really want to look at it. The movement, tracking the ball, the placement. Saskia Jared Borghetti would be would be very happy with that. That's a that's a really good heading goal. Yeah, I mean, it is. So that's an look like an outfield player. I'll give, to be him, that. I'll give him that. He can let like le salió es portero, metió el gol. Portero. But I'm not all like, ah, oh my god. I, I mean, it I mean, is. I'd rather see Toño Rodriguez first goal time. To Chivas. Toño Rodriguez. Neta, güey, you know who? And I hate it. And I. This would be a good, good little, little seg, like not segue, but like, um, like best goalkeeper goals. Oh, I like Miguel it. Caleros, number one. That's not a. And he it didn't happened score against it. us. And he it didn't happened score against. It. And it happened against us. He did not score that. Oh man. Oh, here comes Tonyo Rodriguez. You seen this, right? Jesus Christ. Like, what what a goal. Just from end to end. I've always dreamed of that. That was like yeah. the dream. Yeah, sure. Enough. That's better than Allison's. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Uh, better but than just because he was in the last minute. So it was this one, by the way. But yeah. It was to win it. This one's to go 3-1. Ah, 
That's the Atlas. I'm not. I'm not taking anything away. In other news, though, somebody wants to leave a shit team. I mean, uh, good. Good. And on it's not them. messy. Good on them. Oh boy, we're gonna get to Tacoma later. Cause yikes. Yeah. Yikes. Uh, so um, Harry Kane. Boy. Harry Kane wants to leave. Sorry Thomas. to all you Spurs fans. Yes, yeah, Harry Kane the wants dream to leave. Is over. Finally, about time. And let me tell you this: he's leaving, and Son is next. Set him free. Oh man! Like Son should have been gone last Son year. Son needs to go and save Barcelona. Whoa! I like that. I just that needs to happen. I can see him fitting with Barca so perfectly mm-hmm. on the left on the left wing. Um, but yeah, no, it it was, it was, jeez. Yeah, Harry Kane's gonna end up going. Who knows where? Heard Man United's interested. Barca. Uh, you guys don't teams. need him. You guys have Cavani. You guys, I know, I know. You guys are gonna upset I Cavani. Want, I don't want him, man. You. Oh. I really don't. <clears throat> Give it to Chelsea then. Go ahead. Ah, go ahead. Give. Do you got you trade for Harry Kane, Timo Werner over to Tottenham? No, Timo Werner is gonna win us a Champions League final. Okay, and then there was something funny. I think you're watching it right now. Am I? Am I watching it right now in yeah, the city? Uh, obviously the uh, the Champions eat that already. So they're playing against Roma and. Conte decided to take Lautaro Martinez out, like, I think it was in the first half. And he got pissed. Uh-huh. So they made a little boxing ring, and they gave him both gloves to settle their issues. This is, you're not, don't, don't answer this. But, <laughs> interesting that he's talking English. But, like, Italian. Like oh, because he's, he's, he's uh, being the, the announcer. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, they're in Italy, and they're, they're, just, like, they're talking English and Italian. And it's a Belgian dude. Yeah. Talking to an Italian dude who has history of playing in England. But Lautaro probably doesn't speak English. You see, you, you feel me? I get what you're saying, but you, you get why he's speaking English, though, right? Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay. 100%. Yeah, it's not weird. It's interesting. I never said it was weird. Super interesting. You want to know something super interesting? So I'm in season nine of Green Anatomy <laughs> now. <laughs> so I was I just finished the last episode, and again, spoilers for those of you who have uh, not watched it. Just it ends with a plane crash. Came out of nowhere, um, and a lot if of you th- haven't and, seen and, it by uh, now. And Lexi just, you know, just succumbed to her injuries. Hey, dude, uh, imagine someone's you like someone's someone, someone, someone watches Grey's Anatomy, and they watch our shit. Well, I mean, I, I and always the, and, the, and, it, like, and they're like, "Holy shit, Tony just pulled my well, show." Sorry, what he I, least I, expected. I would, I would be she. very mad. Um, but anyway, so yeah, you saw the plane um, crash. Disconnect that on a Mark Sloan. Um, yeah, I'm like he's. I mean, yeah, like yeah. Who else? It was fucked up. Shonda Rhimes is is a sick woman. Who, who, lady who, who wrote, writes it? Um, uh, oh, Arizona lost a leg. Yes, that's how she lost her leg. Yeah, somebody had spoiled that for me. Like, oh, it's, it's yeah. some, some, when she loses a leg, I was like, anyone else? Die? Fucking. <sighs> I don't like that question because that makes me think that somebody else is about to die. But I don't no, know. No, you texted him. You texted it to me. Oh yeah, Lexi. I said yeah. Lexi. Oh, great. Yeah, said, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And then and then uh, and then uh, Christina getting uh, showered by Doctor Cunt. How dare she? How dare he cheat on her? And um, we're we're almost done. This is how much I don't want to talk about loyal. Um, but Dr. she was like, Cunt "Oh, the animalitos. I like, stayed awake, and then the animal sounds, and I realized they weren't coming for us. They were fighting over Lexi's body." So that was weird. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at. Raising Anatomy. Anyway. Um, oh, man. I really wonder, like, who has watched. Like, I'm genuinely curious. If you have watched and you listen to this, just let me know um, where we're at with you and uh, Raising Anatomy. FA Cup, I guess let's talk about this, too, because the Chelsea lost the FA Cup against uh, Lesser City. So, and, Capello, uh, like, straight up, like, I, I said, you, you, just, you tell me, oh, we have bigger fish to fry. Yeah, bro. No, <laughs> you have to win whoa, the whoa, FA whoa, Cup. What was Manchester United talking about last year? Eh, it's, only, it's only the FA Cup. No, it no. doesn't matter. And then I'm over here, it's silverware. It matters, Pedro. Yeah, you know what? You convinced me last year. So, uh, the FA Cup doesn't matter. Bigger fish to fry, Champions League, silverware. You're really confident about Champions League. Holy shit. I've, I, I, 
I've been saying it. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Wow. And I'm gonna and 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 and, and, and when Manchester United loses, también van a perder, güey. That's what's gonna make this so much better. It's gonna backfire on you. It's so gonna bad. be so much better. Oh, I love this. Uh, pinche golazo de Tielemans. Uh, I've, I've been I've been telling you guys Tillemans is underrated. Es un crack el morro. Like he's still young. I think he's 22, 23. Uh, he's a beast, dude. Like honestly. No, güey. También el pinche ca el Casper Schmeichel, güey. Es una pinche bestia este vato. Gets like, it from Papa, so man. Gets it from Papa. Um, at full stretch that time. Look at this. Look at this. Full stretch, one yeah. hand, all the way down. Fast reflexes. What you need for those situations. Oh, yeah. Um, but I mean, pinche var, I hate var, bro. I bro, it's fucking the best. hate var. You, you know, know what I right. hate? You, you got know it what right. I hate just you as much? Right. You know what I hate just as much? What the Chelsea new the new Chelsea kids? Have you seen them? No, I have not. Chelsea kids. Oh, I think yeah, you showed it to me. You showed it to me. Yeah, I did. It's, it's it's un asco. Yeah, the one with different patterns. It's it's un asco. This is disgusting. Like, what is this? Yellow bro? lines, like, zigzag, 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 like. I don't know. After the classy Bro, blank that blue that last year, I the three yeah, yeah, lo pasado, but now I can tell the threes up. This looks like a like a It's fucking gross. Eight year old designed it. Yeah. Yeah, bro. And Yeah, it looks it's bad. Special little little yellow school bus. <laughs> um yeah, no, that's bad. Uh, but anyways, go back to Tielemans. I want to see that, man. Yes, that let's go back to Tielemans. Nasty. Go. Golazo. So. Maybe with the arm, but we continue. Here's Yuri Tielemans. Banger, bro. It's a Banger. Golazo. Tielemans. Like. And the thing is, he's so happy at that club. I don't think he's leaving. If I was in goal, you know what? I, 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 if, if it was me, I probably would have done something about that. You you wouldn't stop that. Yeah, would. Ira, Ira, Ira. Boom, right there. He launches himself from there. Take an extra step. Take your time. There's no stopping that. Breathe in, breathe out. There, he should have taken an extra step right there. Right, is what I'm saying. There's no stopping that. More strike. There's no stopping that, Tony. Wonderful goal. You know that. Nobody <laughs> stops that. No, yeah. Ochoa, you know what I like seeing? Te la pasa, a lo mejor. You know, see. You know what I like seeing in goals in slow motion and like home runs or anything? Who the first person to react is? Like, because I, I like doing that, right? Mm. Like, I like seeing the play because, or like seeing the advance and saying, "Oh, that's a goal," and then like yeah. five seconds. We actually did that on the two balls and a mic reaction. We're like, "Oh, this is gonna happen." Two seconds later, oh, yep, took almost board. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> but who the first person like in the background is to react? Like, from the moment it's hit, I already see this guy, and I already see that guy yeah. moving. And then, and then everybody just slowly catches on. Like, yeah. I love that. But a pinche golazo. Yeah, good, good job. Uh, congratulations. Um, pinche, like It was meant to be. Um, the question was asked, is Leicester uh, a top-tier top, team? A, yeah, a, one of the... So, is it time to remove maybe Tottenham or Arsenal from the big six? And Arsenal has in there? not been there. If you have to take one out. Arsenal or Tottenham, who would you take out? Um, ooh. I Arsenal. Respect, I, Arsenal because Tottenham has made it to the Champions League final. And, you know, the, the other guys won the FA Cup and the Community Shield. But, te la doy. But as far as like I'll who's been more relevant, oh I think I'll tell you, just I respect Arsenal's history. That's not saying that I don't respect their history. It's just saying like right now, like if I had a choice and the Super League was happening, I'd be like Arsenal. I mean, that's Arsenal, you guys in finales de la Europa. That's the, oh, Europa. Oh, see, why is that? Yeah, that since it's the most prestigious Tottenham, Tottenham, European the the European. Uh, the most prestigious European uh, tournament. So you Europa like the story League. of Leicester? I like the story of oh, Leicester. The owner. the owner. I mean, yeah. yeah. Pretty much he sent a letter um, to the... I mean, he died last year, right? Or two years ago? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the plane crash and yeah. Peter Schmeich, Casper Schmeichel ran to it. And tragedies. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I mean, uh, I, mean I'm <laughs> just, I'm, I think anyone's happy when Glacier wins something. Yeah, like, like it's a it's, it's a, a team. good team to root for. It's a but at some point it's gonna get, start getting annoying, and I'm just gonna be like, all right, good cortale, like no, go no. go back down. No, I don't think so. I think they're here to stay. For having Brandon like, Rogers, I, I see like five more years, five more years of this, and and then they'll taper off into midfield of obscurity. I I don't know. <coughs> I see Tottenham maybe going down more than Leicester. Do you really? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> wow. And. All right. I guess. Here we go. We have. Uh, we went to play at Barcada. We we did. I. Mm, I mean. You, you say otherwise. I went seven straight games on, on, on there without and coming out. fucked up your knee. I mean, yeah. That's so sad. That's part of it at this point. But like. I could have lasted seven games too. But my team sucked. You look. You had like two good guys. Straight up. Hi. No. Like, um. But yeah. Like, I mean, you played good, but I was amazing assist master. I mean, I love how Nio? assist master two assists. No, okay, there was more than two assists. No, two right? assists. No, there was more than two. Why? No, you had passes. Why, two why were you keeping tabs on me? Why were you keeping stats on me? I, I was gonna compete. <laughs> you were competing very well from the bench, and 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 then you're one and dones. We got you out twice, three times maybe. Whatever, man. In that same I mean, run, I had a, like, I haven't played in many years. You've been playing constantly, so I've not been playing. Yeah, constantly. You yeah, you have. So I have most certainly I mean, not been playing constantly. It's just natural talent and a I gift. I mean, Tony plays goalkeeper when those goals like you covered like this whole goal. There's no goalkeepers. There's no hands. No, no, but when you're taking shots, like. What I'm saving shots? Did you, a, do you, do you remember goal. that like on an three, actual like, goal stop? on an actual goal uh-huh. like regular size goal uh-huh. and penalties? Uh-huh. We'd go probably five and five in like uh, we'd probably tie. No, you wouldn't block one. Yeah, I would. You would. Yeah, I would. We have to do that. We do. We so we'll do it. Piece of shit. Um, but all right. Let's, uh, let's NBA. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to <laughs> it, man. Our <laughs> USL takes, man. By US, I mean SD loyal. Um, You're killing me, guys. This was Tony's so, game that he was looking forward see you, to. Apple. We were circling this one around. This is going to be the one where we see the all the offensive firepower from San Diego loyal. And we did. And then there was more shots than there's ever been. Um, so they did hit a post early, uh, crossbar from a corner. Ben Spencer did score, but then it got uh, disallowed by offsides. I don't think it was, it was a, offsides. It was a, and I, let me I'll cue it up too, because again, we uploaded a video today. Check it out on our YouTube video oh, yeah. at Two Bells and Mike. Let's see if I can uh, do that. So we went to, uh, what's that, Mother? Home and Away. Home and Away, yeah. By the way, if you have Drew's uh, scarf, scarf. Yeah. give it back, please. We have another scarf. Uh, we have another scarf. Uh, a scarf thief, thief perhaps. I don't want to. I don't want to say thief. Uh, drunken. Again, uh, we want to preface this by saying that uh, two balls and a mic have been extensively vaccinated and uh, have oh, yeah. been taking precautions and good measures. I say this because, man. This guys, these guys yeah. had like, we were there at the game and there was these two guys and a group of of, of, of lady friends of theirs and, and they stayed because that that were they were in prime real estate for a uh, for a table and so when we saw a table open we got the best seat in the house oh, yeah, not we, lie. we got yeah. the best seat in the house right in the middle uh, we did not drink any of those pacificos those pacificos no. were there and they already. refused to take them horrible service at them. home and away guys straight up I'm not gonna lie yikes they got they got overwhelmed with the drums. Yeah, they did, um, you know, because they were loud. They were loud. They were yeah. so loud uh, that they interrupted. <laughs> I went back and watched. Those uh, guy, one guy that was um, working there like, clearly was bothered. Unnamed soccer podcast was there, too. Jordan oh, yeah. and Darren. They had their match you can life. clearly hear Chavos uh, and the locals uh, bleed through their uh, their microphones. They're high-quality production microphones. 
Because let me tell you, mm. I've been meaning to see the, that setup. Hey, guys. It's just us. It's just me. They got a crew of like four or five, six, seven, a t- team of dozen of professionals. And they have a good product. And uh, they're all great about it. And they're all great. But it's only us. Mm-hmm. Nobody else. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know what the fuck half the shit I'm do here does. Like all these buttons and shit. Like Press play on that out. shit. That shit was funny, man. First of all, he's missing a dale. This dude dale, gets, dale, dale, San Diego. Uh, shout out to Brandon, who was next to us. He also told me after the guy left, like, every time he said dale, San Diego, he keeps, like, brushing up on my leg, like, like holding it. <laughs> like, well, thank you for, uh, you know, thank you for uh, being a trooper. Um, but, yeah, we have been uh, this moment where, like, he, they, one of them... Reach. Why was he grabbing the laptop? I don't know. I don't know. Like, this dude, my man. And here's the thing. Like, I'm going to hook him up with tickets, too, because it was funny. <laughs> but this man, like, it was they were both absolutely wasted. Yeah, Props to them, because they stayed. They mm-hmm. stayed. Like, they heard drums and heard everything. They just embraced it, and they were they were about it. So it's like. Then they um, saw that we were losing, and they were like, oh, let's dip. Yeah, let's, let's dip. <laughs> uh, th- at some point, they break a glass. Um, oh, yeah, he did. He broke someone's beer in the back. Then he went to buy him a new one. 619 Soccer just let us know that in this video, like, it's, uh, you can tell, like, everybody's still singing, and you can just visibly see you and me just pissed. Like, just There was pissed. nothing happy to be about this game, bro. There like, was really nothing, nothing because, and, and we'll go back and forth between this and the actual highlights of the game. So, <sighs> here from Cheney Stadium. Cheney Stadium. A fucking baseball field, bro. Yeah. Like, it's right. Contra Morros, dude. Contra Morros. Like, that's, yeah, exactly. And we'll, we'll look at the uh, lineups too in a second, but like so here's the corner from Adams crossbar. In. Spencer gone airborne, header off the post. Which you need and to score that. Free kick given coming out. Yeah, and look, even if you don't, it's a dangerous chance. I'll give it to you, right? It's yeah, the beginning yeah. of the game, uh, but again, that was the first highlight, and then we move and we like jetpack into the minute, the fortieth minute. Yeah, there is the, in between. Most that's more. a lot of wasted time. That's a lot of wasted opportunities. Um, yeah, but. Um, Let's, uh, I do want to see real quick the San Diego Loyal. Look, the what? The lineups for San Diego Loyal just to have them up and ready to go. Wow, they have, what? Well, look at that. I didn't know that. Match day. I didn't know they had, um, they have what? They had clips and videos on, on here. Now they do. Now, now, oh, good. I see what you did there, Chiefs. Yup. <laughs> we love you, Loyal. Straight up, we love, we you, love you. We love you. We love you. Uh, we love. Like, at least that's been in. Prop, in my head. Props to Chavos oh, and the locals oh, for still singing oh, after tough matches, man. Yeah. Uh, so okay, so Trey Muse returning uh, into his home territory, Tacoma. Um, last time Trey Muse was there, he played against Loyal and lost. Jack Metcalf, who apparently just goes Super Saiyan in Tacoma, uh, he's like, that's he he likes playing well there. Uh, Hunter Ashworth, otro vato, a Kiwi. Kiwi. Shout out Nick Duffy. Uh, yeah. Our, I was super uh, stoked about this guy. Yeah, so it, this the, this dude uh, from uh, New Zealand uh, joining and announced six five and getting thrown in. Yeah, again, uh, again. Uh, I don't maybe know. Maybe he's been here for a while. Haven't been out to practice any, uh, recently. But haven't been able to make it out. So, you know, that's uh that's interesting. Uh, Van Kaisel, uh on there. Sal Zizzo starting as captain. Colin Martin, the cl- the good midfield. What you would want, right? In in a sense, Colin, Charlie, Guido. Right. Yeah. Five like on mitts. paper, four that's center mitts. Why not? Yeah, you you don't have a uh, winger. What? Well, even though you know. Okay. At one point, are Jack, we gonna? Are Jack Blake is not a winger. He's not. Like, he's playing winger. Like, I get it. Like, when I was in, in in when I was coaching my middle school team at the charter school, mm-hmm. um, the, the they I just had a bunch of athletic kids. They didn't know how to play soccer not so much, but like you put, I put the kid. That just ran and was more more physical on the side on the wing, so he would be like the Ronaldo yeah. and defender. But because that's the kid that ran the most and was you know 
energetic and never got tired. I think that's what they're doing, just like middle school tactics. Like uh, Jack Blake on the side, hey, you run forever, here you go, here's the ball, move yeah. forward and just try to create, you know, something. Because if you notice at the form, the there was points in time where everybody's around the ball. You have San Diego Loyal with eight players right around near the ball in uh, Tacoma territory where Jack Blake is playing a center mid in the left wing position. And, mm -hmm. you know, they're trying to build from there. And then that's one of the, I think that's the counterattack where they had, um, they lost the ball and everybody was bunched up over there like niñitos, like mm -hmm. little kids. Like, again, all respects and everything, but that's, what it looked like. Everybody's just we loaded no up wingers, on one bro. side. And then when they counterattack, they just boom, bump the ball across. Now it's uh, Metcalf who has to do the impossible run because he's already at, the, at midfield in and the he's middle. He's not the fastest either. He's, he's not the fastest. That's not his, his, not his bread and butter. His better, he does other things much better yeah, in defending wise. But, you know, the, the speed just there, killed. There's, there's no natural like, wingers. We have Toomey who can play on the wing on the left mm -hmm. side. My boy struggles with his Look. dribbling, man. And they put Hertzog with Spencer. We were like, all right, offense. Uh, there we go. Like, um, you know what? I, I would try Nicky Jackson as a right winger mm -hmm. um, just because he has more speed. At what point do we say, okay, we got to bench either Colin Martin or Charlie Adams because that center man is <sighs> decent, but it's lacking when it comes to the defending side. When it comes, the, the, I'm sorry, but our midfield can mark for shit. Yeah. And as in, if you're a center mid, center defensive mid, you got to know how to mark in the box or where to go, where to stand. And it doesn't seem like our team is doing that. And I, I, at some point, you got to say, okay, either we're going to practice and focus on this to make our defense look better, uh -huh. or you bench them and you put someone that can do the job. Strong words, Chiva. Strong I, I words, like to see strong Jordan Chavez. feelings. I'd like to see Jordan Chavez. A little bit more. Yeah, no, he just played. He was like, oh, jugar. Um, you know, he's, there's a lot of. Yeah, but I'm you Yeah, no, I mean, that, <laughs> yes. But do we have the players for that right now? You know what? I want to see one of those teenagers play. Los Morros? Los Morros. Like, straight up. I mean, if they're going to kill it, like, we're, they're already playing against kids the same age. That's a really, that's a really good point. Like, why not, right? Like. That's what this league is for. Throw him in there. That's true. That's true. What are you uh, going to lose? We're already thing, losing games. Lloyd just looked so slow, like, in the second half. Yeah, they, dude, we just, have no speed. no speed. Like, especially in that last counterattacking goal, just, I mean. Charlie Adams was gassed, dude. Like, 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 like let, let's, let's get back to these, these, these highlights, too, because, again, you know, there were highlights for San Diego Loyal. And yeah, then we'll listen to Landon Donovan speak uh, after, which it was interesting that they decided not to put his uh, post-match interview after the game. They waited a whole day yeah, just to, you know, to simmer things down. Smart. It's Guido. Option to square it. Goes himself. Gets beyond Great stop. Herrera, that was a good take. Good stop. Just Great stop. You, you shoot second post there. The defender's going to block it. And that, yeah. that first shot was... was Smart choice, and it was just a good stop. But again, we're going to see, again, if you see some wild-ass numbers, like 36, 88, 58, you know you're dealing with children on the field. Yeah. Uh, just because, again, this is a feeder team into the Seattle Sounders, and, you know, they don't, just like LA Galaxy 2, you know, they don't want to mix the numbers from the main mm -hmm. team and whatnot. Gonzalez here. Forgot the ball. Laid it off for Ryan. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight San Diego loyal players in the box, and you have three kids that are just having their way. They're back healing inside of your own box. Nobody's stepping up. You got number eighty-eight outside. Guess where? In la media luna, like always. Nobody's pressing up. It's going to be too late by the time somebody tries to mark him. First Shot touch. Corkscrews around and goes in. Carlos Anguiano, welcome to Tacoma. His welcome to Tacoma. Bro, it's all kids. Tomorrow's we like, lost against a bunch of kids straight like, up, dude. The guys lost against what should have been the worst team, right? And, but they're. I don't worry. The worst team right now is Las Vegas Lights and then us. Well, we're going to find out in a couple. And that's the thing, too. Like, it's sad because, like, after this result, the, the loss against uh, Tacoma, 
everybody's like, oh, well, can't wait till the can't wait till the home opener. I'm like, no, got Louisville, Louisville, which is they pull off a win, it'll be like it'll be an ugly win, kind of like against last yeah. year against the Monarchs. Yeah, uh, shout out to Corbin. Uh, we met Corbin. Oh, yeah, shout out. That's a motor 16 years old. Yeah. He's 16? Yeah. Oh, He's shit. From, o- from Oklahoma. Like, 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 oh, shit. That's a country boy. Like, he looks your older. Madre Sota. Yeah, he looks older. He looks like a sir. <laughs> but I mean, okay, we need wingers. We I need mean, Corbin out there. Saw Corbin played against Corbin Barcada. We, yeah. that, that's what we need. We need youth. Um, we have the youth. We're not using it. So, okay, we're 0-3. We're not good right now. It's a long season, um, but not the best start. Uh, poor Jack Madcoff. He, 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 he plays well, man. He, he, did, he, he played well. He's been, after that first game, mm-hmm. he's been doing much better. Um, but I just... Get yeah. away with... Poor Charlie, man. Like... At this point in the game, 92nd minute, he's tracking back. Loyals is just two on one. Serrano squares it. And right. Tacoma Defiance will be walking away with three points. Serrano just sprints Look at that. on this. Look at that. Oh, that's no that's speed. Man. Ah, Ivanko. Like, I've felt this. I, f- I feel this so deep. So deep. You know why? I want you to, to t- and, and, and people who have played Sunday League and, and at the park who haven't played in a while will will recognize this motion, this head motion right now by Charlie Adams. And, I, and I'll slow it down, too. I'll slow it down. But okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all the energy that no one else... No, 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 He's down, head down. Oh, yeah, stool. Yeah, no. Yeah, There's no, 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 yeah. There's no chance. No one else in this game has. Oh, man. That's what it felt like, too. That's that's a, that's a speed that Charlie would look like he was running. <laughs> Again, here we are overreacting. You know, we're, 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 we're watchers. We're fans. I don't know what you want to call it. But, like, again, because we're gorditos. We really can't be talking about people not sprinting full speed. But, you know. Again, we're we're we're, we're 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 observants here, um, but god damn it, dude! Like uh, this was supposed to be the game. This was supposed to be like, all right, we're zero and two. We're gonna go in here one and one and two, and uh, go into Louisville and um, try to get a tie. Try to get a tie, and then come and come over here. You and have uh, four points opener. in the pocket, uh, home opener, and then you play another quote unquote easy game. You go up seven points, and then you're in the mid. Range for uh, your division, but, but no, we're zero and three now. Zero and three, possibly zero and four next on Saturday. Who knows? <sighs> Catch the game Saturday at four thirty. Like at this point, like like I'll be so happy if they win, but I will also be upset b- if they win because it's like, you did you really just be one of the best teams in the league? Like, like. Maybe like we're that team that just sucks against everyone except. That's what team. I was telling. And even uh, shout out Carl who, uh, like. Tagged me like he was like, hey, like, are so are we really the punching bag? Because again, I was talking about San Diego Loyal being the punching bag of the MLS mm-hmm. in the preseason because everybody just kicked their ass, and now coming into the season, are we not MLS's punching bag? Are we just the USL's punching bag? Uh, and we're gonna be, you know, cross country ass kicked with Louisville coming up. So yeah, um, if you if you want to look at if you want to look at Stats and and, and, that's, and what that's happened. From, that's from last. That's year. from last year. Um, yeah, I'm like, oh shit! <laughs> wow, good job, guys. Um, yeah, it's a two-one. We won. No, that's not the game. Jesus Christ! Good job, Tony. Um, yeah, Tony. Good is, job. This is this is why this is why the boys are the pr- are the pros over there. Que chingue su madre la América. Ay, no. Hey, pe, 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 pe. Chingue su madre la América. Like good, 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 good topics. Um, but okay, real quick before, and I'll just wrap this up because again, there's it's there's hard. There's, it's hard. Yeah, it is hard, Landon. Um, we're gonna hear from. Do you like the term the gaffer? I feel like that's too proper. Like too. Like trying what, too hard. They call him Gaffer or yeah. what? Yeah. 
I would never like that. Let me see. The gaffer. No. That, no. That's okay. We're in England, maybe. Let's call him. Again, call interesting. Him interesting that he. Coach. El, el coach. All right. Captain, there's there's coach. nothing to turn around other than the results. And I know when people watch soccer games, I lived it. I played 700 plus soccer games. When you don't see the game with the shots, so like did I. I played 700 plus soccer games. Maybe not at your level, but all right. Let's not get keep soccer. Okay. Oh, I I I know what this is, guys. For for those of you that don't know the sport, by the way, if you're if you're seeing not results, and uh, this is why, because this is soccer, okay? No way. Any sport 0 and 3 is not good. Yeah. See the results, it's hard, right? But again, this is a process that we, w we need to go through in order to give ourselves a chance to compete at the highest level against the best teams. We don't have the budget that other teams have. We just don't. Wait so a minute. So that was uh, wild. And, 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 I don't know <clears throat> what this is based on. With like, like again, what are you talking I about am new. Wise? I, I, me, I am new to USL. I don't know. I'm not familiar. I'm not familiar with the paycheck, the pay paychecks that they you know tend to get. Um, don't want to pry on like you know the chairman and his wealth and, and and everything goes into that. But like everybody top to down jeff ruder death all those the usl mean pony all those little accounts i was saying and 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 even loyal themselves we have the best off season of any usl team ever those are facts ever i don't know how much you're paying i don't know who you wanted i don't know what you wanted i don't know who you wanted to who you need but that you couldn't get because you don't have the budget. But again, neither do some of these teams either. Like, these are teams that no, are Tacoma is playing teams. with kids. Morros, way. Like, they pay for their lunch money. Hasta ahí. Like, Probably bust, dude. What the dude. fuck like, are you talking about budget these other teams have? You lost against a bunch of teenagers. It, and that's the one where I look at, like, okay, Phoenix, sure, best team. Best team yeah. with rowdies yeah, and I out mean, there like they're all about money. Yeah, like there's there's like, there's funds, then there's there's good good quality there. Then they went over to um, RGV. All right, there used to be a f uh, an, it's in the middle of nowhere. They used to lost to be Vicente with, Sanchez, uh, 40, 43 year old. Lost to Vicente Sanchez is like <clears throat> assistant coach. This time around, you do lose against a lot, bunch of kids. Yeah. Like the best off season of the USL got dis that got destroyed by children. Yep. Good children, good, fantastic players. Like again, uh -huh. to take nothing away from from their efforts, but that's just a little curious. And 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 if any if anybody has anything to educate us on, fantastic. Let us know. Yeah, like I, I we want to know. Like we want to understand what's going on. Right? We're zero and three, and we we were we were promised this. And honestly, and, and here we go. Um, the I feel like. Let's go on a pedestal. Let's remove ourselves. I'm, we're not even in the scene, right? We're not even in the San Diego loyal scene, whatever. I think everybody has been doing their part above and beyond. If that's a supporter group, if that's the front office, if that's the people who are pouring, pouring their money into this, who are buying into the, you know, off field, everything that you're doing, like you, you have San Diego, you got us. That's it. Like, good job. Keep doing, you know, great stuff. Keep doing fantastic work. But now it's lacking. Like, it's not, it's not measuring up. It's not, you know, it's not the amount, the amount of success they're having off the field is not matching anywhere near the success that they should be having on yeah, the field with this squad. And, you know, there was, there was, there was people who were not happy about the result and, uh, uh, there was there was a lot of there was a lot of it was, it was a very interesting people watching session. This is why I'm glad that uh, I'm vaxxed and we're vaccinated and we're ready to go for this because, you know, we did get to extra track with some of the front office and, you know, they're not happy either. And, uh, you know, I asked one of them, like, hey, so like what happens now? Like you guys are on three. What happens now? Like what's Monday like? Like what happens in that meeting where it's like, hey, we're here. Do you guys are like, oh, well, it's still the process or 
or are you understanding or are you also being like pushing the envelope like no they're they're there there's 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 pushback there's you know a give and go and and you know obviously they're not happy with what's happening but hopefully sooner than later right right that's but i don't if if not now when if not against the coma who yeah if not uh, i don't know that really makes us different and gives us a chance to play the game in a way that we want it to be played so we have control of the game so then we you did they controlled the game i feel like loyal played their best game this was their best game oh yeah by far like hands down yeah you played how you wanted to play. You had the chances. You were there. You were dominating possession. You were controlling the ball. You had the shots on target. You had the shots. You were dangerous, but... Yeah. We can beat teams. We don't want to just survive. We don't want to sit in our end and defend for 90 minutes and pray that we score a lucky goal and try to advance. I'm not interested in that. That's not why... I, that's not They're why playing I'm off the back. The team doesn't want that. The team yeah. wants to play in a way that has a real identity that people can appreciate and we will get there i have when? no question when? in my mind i saw it last year firsthand <coughs> and that's the point that you brought up last year there was a different there was a difference between this year and last year and and, and yeah and they so can't stop talking about it too yeah right? so i mean we gotta you, we get to a point where you ask was rubio Rubin that much of a difference maker and if the answer is yes they weren't they were in trouble because the team is not good enough then yeah, like Rubin is killing in the MLS. I 100%. mean, we can't. We we keep seeing the SD loyal account can't get it, uh, enough of him. Hey, Kempen, good job. Like, uh, sabes so que, dude. Move on, like, guys. Uh, Move on. I, I like it. Up. I like it. I like it. Like, I like the familial thing that they're doing, but not the time, not the time. Like, yeah. we're we're licking our wounds here. Don't remind us of what we had. I'd rather see a tweet from San Diego Loyal say, "We're fucking practicing. We're working on this shit. We'll hit you guys up soon." Or some shit like that. Then, hey, congrats, campaign. Oh, Ruby, we've been killing it again. No. As, as Move it, on. Goes, it goes into the same vein of me not liking, like, man of the matches where people, when they lose. Yes. And nobody's a man of the match when you lose. The yeah, other the team was a man of the match. Yeah. Like, yeah, you guys got to quit doing that. I think that. we have a better roster this year, a better team. So now mm. we just need to make the plays. And okay. it's kind of easy to say and a little cliche, but we will do that. I'm not worried about that. It just hurts now. It's it's hard right now. Everyone's suffering. And Can I just say, Ben Spencer is un tronco, un troncaso. I mean, like, I can't do it. Like, I want to give him a chance. And, yes, he has, like, one of our only goals. But, dude, he's just, he's, I don't think he's that good. And everyone was, and people were hyping him up. Want to see people hurt, Landon? Pain. That's what that's what's happening. Yeah, you it's, it's are a, I guess quote unquote Dodger fan, so you don't know what pain is. I mean, you do, but not not the same. Like, wait, the Wallace Chivas, the well Manchester United, we no Manchester. Okay, both historically good clubs, but like, yeah, but recently trash. Wait, I'm, but I'm a I'm a San Diego Padres fan, dude. I know pain. I formerly a San Diego Charger fan because that was a team. That's pain. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's your fault. I'm used to this, and and uh, I think I San, thought, Diego, San Diego might just be cursed. And I thought this would be different, and hopefully it is. It's still it's still early in the season. Yeah, it is. But I I but don't it, it like that the, I'm used the, to this. The, the words the words that Landon uses worry me though. Like, we don't have the budget that other teams have. Like this. Uh, we can expedite the process by getting some results along the way because it'll just relieve some of the pressure. And that's what I hope we do. I would rather be disappointed by not getting a result now in exchange for building what we know is coming. Yeah. People who watched last okay, year. Okay, I guess. That's exactly what happened. We were we went through a stretch in the middle of the season. We weren't and scoring And then you got goals. Robin and Guido. A short season. 
weren't winning games. Once that happened and teams started fearing us, everything Because after so what? You got Rubin and Guido. Someone to step up. Um, we don't have Rubio Rubin, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. So we need a couple guys to step up and make the plays that matter. All right, Once calling out your own guys. That's, not, that's not going to be Ben Spencer. Everything will change. And Corey the needs to step up. Will be six yeah. points instead of zero points. And that will happen. Let's hope it happens sooner than later. It could be three games. I hope Guido doesn't shy be. away from being the number 10. Is that kind of pesado? I think this is, this, is, this is interesting. These first three games that we figure it out, it could be six games, nine games. Until we figure it out. It could be, you know, we already had these three games. We still uh, have six we games. We might not have nine figure it out until the end of the season, bro. No, but like, I, you know, he knows the schedule, right? So he sees ahead. So the schedule doesn't get easier. Yeah. So is that what it's going to be? Like nine games, maybe you win one or two in those nine and then say like, we're getting there. Are you going to win the next two and then lose you know, every game after that, like uh, yeah. we will get there um, better. We prefer to do it with less suffering. So we're going to try to get there fast. We're creating, I mean, we had 25 chances. I saw we had 18 shots inside the box. And so insane. You're somebody, not gonna needs, play. somebody needs to fix their uh, <laughs> power steering fluid. Uh, in a lot of soccer games where you have 18 chances inside the box and only score one. And, and say I I'm done. Like, uh, like it, yeah, I'm upset. Fix your I'm, shit, uh, man. Fix your shit, bro. Like, like we'll get there. We'll support you. We're supporting you. The chavos are great. The locals are great. We're always gonna be there. Um, no. Hey, también. 1904. You they, lost. They lost. It's yeah. okay because they played against the champions. So if we're mm -hmm. gonna give Oil a pass for losing against uh, Phoenix, we'll give you a pass for losing again to Detroit. It's fine. It's it's. We're watching. Like it's. We're paying attention, but Jesus Christ. Um, you get your shit together, boys. Ah, but something we don't normally talk about. Bam, 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 bam. We can go through it real do quick. I even do I? Yeah, we can go just like. First of all, we're talking basketball. basketball because the big news happened. Kobe Bryant is now a Hall of Famer. It was a, a really good class. Like, uh, yeah, it was. Of Hall of Famers. You had uh, Timmy Duncan. You had Kevin Garnett. Uh, KG. Uh, Kobe. So, I mean, no, it was beautiful. Uh, Vanessa Bryant had a great speech. You're beautiful. You're so beautiful. It's not how that goes, but all right. The song? That that was a very, that was the wrong. Yeah. <clears throat> You're beautiful. I'm not singing that one. You're beautiful. I wasn't, I wasn't singing that one. Well, I am. Okay. Dumbass. Anyways, yeah, so Kobe is a Hall of Famer, and playoffs are starting, so might as well talk NBA. Uh, they added this new thing. It's new for them. It's wild. Not new for Mexicans. It's a play-in tournament, also known as Repechaje. El Repechaje. But it's a little interesting. So the seventh seed plays the eighth seed, mm -hmm. and then the winner stays with the seventh seed in playoffs. Uh -huh. The loser then will play against the winner of the ninth seed versus the tenth seed. So and then that winner of that game will get the eighth seed. Uh, so, I mean, Lakers, if they win, they'll get Phoenix. And they already showed that they can beat Phoenix. I'm a Lakers fan. I'm going to be a little biased. I don't think the Lakers have enough to win it this year. Uh, Phoenix has been killing it, but I do think we could beat Phoenix in a ser in a seven-game series. Uh and I think we're going to be Golden State as well. So I think the Lakers are going to lock down the seventh seed. I hate this. Why? I don't know. It's just confusing. I mean, your like, Clippers are going against. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, against the Dallas. Who are not a bad team. They're not. And but check this out. Comparing the West to the East, like the Lakers are 42 and 30 on the seventh seed. If the Knicks are the fourth seed in the East. 41 and 31. Yeah. <laughs> Lakers had a better record. Did you see that? I, I like pro, pro, mo, most of the reason why. Like, I want to talk about this that amazing play. Um, which play? Did you see this play? No, you did not see this play. Oh my god! 
Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Live reaction. One second different. Shot clock to game clock. Dotson loses it. Walking the tightrope. Oh, Blake Griffin. What a pass. Dazzle, dazzle. Oh, next level. Kevin Durant. The... That was okay. nice. That was nice. Okay. That was a nice play. Uh, yeah. But yeah, no. Like, so I, I think I think we're gonna get a uh, Western Conference champion this year again. Mm-hmm. Um, no, but the Lakers are gonna get it. But our, uh, the Lakers are not gonna get it. The Clippers are gonna get it. I don't think the Clippers are gonna get it. Um, <sighs> okay. I think Utah's a little overrated. Uh, they Mar- Mary have they don't have Mary, but yeah, no, I think Denver's dangerous. Uh, Maybe. Portland's also dangerous. You know, it's gonna go down to the Lakers and and the Clippers. Let's let's be let's be honest about it, right? Like that's that's how it's gonna go down to. I don't think so. You don't think so. You think Dallas is gonna take the Clippers out? Oh, I think the Clippers can manage to win that, but can the Clippers be Yes uh, Utah or Yes. You just called them overrated. Yes. Uh, the Clippers, I mean I don't know. Don't I don't like the Clippers. Us. I don't like the Clippers. I know you don't. Don't worry about it. And then the okay. E's, I mean, we got uh the seventy sixers in first. I don't fear them that much. I mean, the Knicks have been playing great. I'm, I'll give them that. Miami's dangerous. Uh, Brooklyn's a clear favorite on that side. To oh, get hell to yeah. The finals. No, that's a super team. Like, I would love for everybody to be healthy. And, and You see Durant, uh, they asked him, like, oh, can okay, your big three get the big three? And he's like, oh, I think we're a big 15. Yeah. I mean, so. dude, like, you added Blake Griffin like to that team. That's a that's a super team. You want to know my, you know, Blake Griffin, former That team Clipper. should be nastier than Golden State. They should have had a better record. But Blake Griffin royalty. What? This is Blake Griffin. This is royalty. It's royalty. It's royalty. <laughs> okay. That's how that album starts. Childish Gambino. Oh, cool! Yeah. I don't listen to his music that much. I probably should. You really should. You'd, yeah, you'd, you'd, I, I, you'd, I, I'd, I'd not be into it. You'd be a better person because of it. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, so, so the guy listens to FIFA songs for fun. <laughs> ouch! <laughs> um, that's <laughs> a cheap shot. That was a cheap shot. Ouch! Uh, but yeah, no. I mean, like as <laughs> as soon as this uh, playoff scenario and, and 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 it just clears up, we'll talk a little bit more again because. I don't want to bog it down with regular season basketball, right? Like, yeah. It's fine now. That's, um, why not, that's why we're not talking baseball that much. Fair, 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 fair. Yeah, exactly. We're, we're waiting. You know, my Padres are still doing great. Yeah, not the Dodgers. Uh, yeah, you guys are sucking. Uh, like I said, it's a long season. Injuries. Oh, see, well, that one like you say. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then NFL. Uh, they released the schedule. Yeah, they did. Woo! So, um, where is it? So um, I told my dad. That hey, Raiders have a home opener week one. Hit up his buddies. They already have the Vegas trip planned. You know how much are the cheapest tickets for that new stadium and the Raiders? How much? Eight over eight hundred bucks. Is that for the club section? No, hasta arriba. Ah, la madre. Hasta arriba. Hey, they gotta make their money back, right? I looked up there was no fans. ticket prices, uh-huh. and like the cheapest ones are like four hundred to three hundred bucks. A la madre! Well, I'm definitely not gonna make it out to an NFL. I think um, I'm. A, I'm I think I might see a Chargers game. <laughs> really? If the Chargers are home, I wonder if the prices are different. They should be, right? Yeah, I mean, but yeah, they're gonna be more expensive because they're the most electrifying team in Los Angeles. Electrifying, as you just did this. Hey, um, um, but yeah, I mean, uh, the Rams have a pretty good schedule. Um, they are going to play the Lions, which I'm excited for. Uh, I want to see Matthew Stafford play uh, Jared Goff. Opposite teams be great. So yeah, let, 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 let's just go over a little bit about you know week week one. Uh, we'll go over some matchups a little bit later. We're going to talk a little bit more as soon as it does come up uh, closer to the date. Uh, let's look at week one. That's not preseason. No, that's preseason. I know. We're moving into week one. There we go. Cowboys, Buccaneers. Uh, so we have Dakota Prescott coming back uh, from an injury. He's been sleeping on sleep. So we get beds. we get the Super Bowl champs against uh, Dak Prescott on a Thursday game. The first game. At, that's yeah, going to be great. I mean, that's going to be great. Buccaneers are going to win the Super Bowl again, so I don't even know why we're even bothering with you the regular so? season. The f- that's every, all we every said, single, that's all we said about the Chiefs starter. going back to back, and they didn't win it. But they don't have Tom Brady. 
They have Patrick Mahomes. They don't have Tom Brady. It was a close second to Tom Brady. Close second, but it's not Tom Brady. Uh, Seahawks, Colts. That one should be fun. Carson Wentz, uh, you know, has a lot of weapons. Uh, Eric Fisher joining him, been, been, uh, protecting him. Yeah. Uh, Great running game. Seahawks, it's the same team. I don't think they got anybody for Russell Westbrook. I think, I think so. him and Aaron Rodgers should just make their own football team. But I think DK, oh, I mean, he still has weapons. He still has DK Metcalf, dude. Like, yeah, he has DK Metcalf, uh, Tyler Lockett, Lockett. Carson's coming back. But you, there's no protection there. There's not, no, no. you know, that's what they need. Uh, the Jaguars, the Jaguars. So that's a brand new, new, brand spanking new. I think the Tim Jaguars might, des filled. might destroy the Texans. The Texans are not going to be good this year. I hope they're not good. They're a terrible franchise. And uh, I mean, if anything, Deshaun people. Watson might just save them a couple games. But they're wait, not Deshaun be Watson even going to play? That's that's um, the thing. Like, I don't hopefully even he know. does. Hopefully he does. Hopefully he's innocent. But of all I think charges. we're going to see Trevor Lawrence first win with the Jaguars in Week One. And if he's not, hopefully he's guilty and you know goes to jail. For and then we got a birdie match. The Bird Bros, Eagles, Falcons. The Eagles just got uh, the Washington football team's uh, sack, all-time sack leader in their team. Uh, so that's that's nice. Um, I mean, you have that connection with Jalen Hurts and uh, Smith. Smith. Yeah. So that's that should be exciting. And also, the Falcons. Matt Ryan has more than enough weapons. He's See had. Way. He's got Julio Jones. He's got Calvin, Calvin Ridley, Ridley, and he has now Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts going to be a problem. Uh, uh, Los Cargadores, Washington football team. Ron Rivera, Riverboat Ron, once a uh, defensive coordinator for the San Diego Chargers. Uh, very well knows this organization. Coming in with a stacked defense to try and challenge Justin Herbert in his sophomore year. With a better O-line now. With a much better O-line. Like, Chargers might have a top three, top five O-line this year. So they, they can be a dangerous team, honestly. Now, the question is, can they still hold healthy? That's always the... the Problem with the Chargers, so we'll see, man. Hopefully not. Uh, Steelers, Bills. Ah, uh, it's gonna be a good one. Big Ben uh, slinging the ball. Thirty-nine like, uh, year old Big Ben. Like a thirty-nine year old Big Ben. But they have a solid running back in in Harris now. Uh, Nakeem Na Harris. Yeah, Na Na no, no, Najee Na Harris. Na Harris. Yeah. Uh, but against the Bills and against my boy, you know my boy, Jared Allen, Stephon Diggs connection still there, still strong. It's a very good, well coached team. Yep. Uh, so I mean that that's that's coming in again. Anything can happen. Everybody can get injured. For, like the 49ers. they lost Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> they they uh, yeah. drafted another quarterback. Who's gonna start Week One? Who knows? Uh, but and they play against Jared Goff the Lions. Lions. Jared Goff is gonna be a problem in Detroit. Who, who he did Watch. he did say yeah, I think he's gonna ball, ball out. Who's gonna do better, Jared Goff in the Lions or Sam Darnold at the Panthers? Oh, I think Jared Goff. I think Sam Darnold. Sam Actually, Sam yeah, I can see Sam, really Sam Darnold is a really good quarterback. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, Jared Goff did say that it was uh, motivating that the Lions didn't draft a QB. Uh, <laughs> lets him know that he's QB1. Uh, the fact that the Lions treat Jared Goff better than Green Bay treats Aaron Rodgers. That's sad. That's sad. Uh, staying up in the north, the Vikings and the Bengals. So I don't know. Will if, Joe Burrow return? I don't already? think he's coming back in the first couple games. So yeah. I think the first couple games are still going to have a backup quarterback. And then even then to see how he's going to look like on the field I'm, after. I'm excited to see foot almost. Uh, Justin Jefferson this season. I mean, he balled out as a rookie. Yeah. I want to see him develop. I think he's going to have a great season again. Yeah, 100%. Uh, the Jets, who are also in a rebuilt phase. So it's going to be Jets who release Sam Darnold playing against Sam Darnold in the Panthers. That's going to be great. I'm, I'm I, I can't want wait to watch Sam that. Sam Darnold to light up the Jets. Just this give everybody a Zach mono. For reals. I mean, the Panthers are not, not, not the toughest team, so Zach Wilson should have a decent game. Give New York the mono. <laughs> uh, Cardinals against the Titans. I mean, Meh. Uh, Cardinals, I mean, they're... They have a good team I mean, on paper. Will the They're Titans be as dominant as they were last year? No. Derrick no. Henry about to run for another. Here I am. Already. Thousand yards. I'm already downing Derrick Henry. I, I never I never trust this guy. I never can. Hey, I mean, he's, he's gives, a monster. He Top really five is. running back all the time. Uh, this is going to be a very exciting game. The Browns and Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. Yeah. Uh, Baker Mayfield has the best team that he's had uh, in his career. The Browns probably have the best team in, they've had in ever. Ever. Yeah. Uh, going up so against has the, best the Chiefs, ever. Chiefs. <laughs> the best yeah. Ever team, so Chiefs. that's gonna be fun. Uh, Dolphins, Patriots. This is gonna be interesting because uh, 
obviously the connection Brian Flores and Bill Belichick, uh, no. former student, pupil, and uh, sensei. Uh, and a, division match. Division match. Good good defensive coaches happening there. And Mac Jones slash maybe uh, Cam Newton. I don't know who's going to start. Probably Cam no. Newton. Broncos, where Aaron Rodgers wants to go to, apparently. But they got Teddy um, Bridgewater right now. So. But they did get Teddy Bridgewater, but they still want to get Rodgers, which would suck for Teddy Bridgewater. And we're going to see Daniel Jones with new weapons. Kenny Galladay over there. They still have, they still have Shepard. Uh, it would have been and a, a healthy running back again. Saquon Barkley is coming back, so watch out with the Giants. I think the Giants are gonna be very strong this year in the division. Packers Saints is gonna be an offensive firepower master class. Will they? But there is. Will they? Yeah, bro. With with that quarterback. With, yeah, bro. With Ty- Taysom Hill. You think uh, so? James Winston. I think James Winston is gonna bench Taysom Hill eventually. Hopefully, I like James Winston. Famous yeah, James. Me too. And the Packers, I mean, Blake Bortles, uh, that's it. <laughs> that's, I mean, it's crazy. Is Aaron Rodgers going to play? You think he's going to play realistically? It's crazy. It's crazy that the Green Bay Packers are going to have back to back MVP quarterbacks. First Aaron Rodgers last year, Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles this year. Amazing. Wow. Uh, the Bears have a new uh, quarterback too with Justin Field. I think. Uh, Sunday night game. Sun, yeah, Sunday night game. It was going to be fun. Um, against your Rams, your Rams with Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford be a decent game. knows the Bears like the back of the palm of his hand. Yes, he does. Um, so that should be interesting. And then uh, Monday Night Football, the Ravens and the Raiders. Uh, Lamar Jackson, do you think he's going to be a good season for Lamar Jackson? Or what did you expect from him? The same. Literally same. the same season. Okay. Plays well, but doesn't do anything with it. I can see that. He's never beat Patrick Mahomes. So he's the Raiders have to. potential to be good this year. Yeah. They didn't make any solid moves. So I'm a little worried for them. <sighs> Man, I'm a little worried for Sandy Loyal. Me too. They play Louisville, Louisville. on Saturday. Uh, so hopefully that ends up being uh, good. Shout out to everybody who came out, said hi to us. And, uh, Chingas Amar la America. Chingas Amar la America. We feel very loved. Gracias, uh, Pachuca. Por San Carlos. We feel very loved. And um, it, it is an honor to uh, be part of such a beautiful community. Uh, I want to shout out uh, Fear Speeds. That's what you listen yes. to. You listen to all the time. I uh, also want to go ahead and give a shout out to UPL, U, UPSL side, uh, SD Internacional. They're we, killing you guys. They're killing you. Came, they came back and they, they beat Nomads this uh, this last weekend. Uh, shout out to Sweetwater High School, who is in CIF on Wednesday. They travel to Calexico. Uh, for the wow. first CIF match. So good luck to the lads over the at Sea High School. Year. And the centennial year, they are in CIF. Uh, they're doing great things. Shout out to PB European and Imports, also with uh, SD Internacional. And uh, thank you for everybody that listens. Very Taco El Vaquero. Taco El Vaquero. Uh, we, we've converted people. Like, we're not kidding. They're good. Um, but yeah, just when someone went, went vegan, it's Taco El Vaquero. Yeah. Soy Riso. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. Later, guys. Later.